Great, maybe Audrey, you want to start? Because it's five minutes past. Yes, with pleasure. Um, so, and still, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, um, depending where you are around the world. Um, and thank you for joining us uh, today for the first day of this very exciting annual meeting. And to start with, I wanted to, to pause a little bit and reflect on what has been said um, earlier in the uh, sessions today uh, during the welcome remarks and opening remarks around the importance of the uh, child protection minimum standards and their uh, use, and especially with the new edition, um, which looked, uh, looks at um, infectious disease outbreak and really reflecting how we could have um, quality of our intervention and as well remaining accountable. Um, and just to remind people and especially the ones who are joining the annual meeting for the first time that um, the uh, second edition of the CPMS, uh, the 2019 ones were launched last year and um, are available on the uh, Alliance website and they were timely launched um, because right after, and we didn't know that at this time, um, we had to uh, face one of the major emergency that the world has known um, the past few decades. Um, and I will stop here and we'll give the floor to Hani for some other points. Great, thanks. Um, and you see on the, on the, for me, on the left side of the screen, some of the, some of the drawings. If, Cat, um, uh, you can go to the drawing from the opening panel, um, please. So this is from the session that, that Audrey and I did, which emphasizes on some of the, the um, gravity of the, of the issues that children are facing. Opening remarks, remarks by Gillian Triggs, um, talking about the impact on refugee and displaced children, um, talking about the extreme poverty that is going to come, come from this, and also highlighting the issue of uh, limited funding that is impacting the work that we all do. Uh, if you can go to the next one, please. And, um, and we had the keynote speakers, um, sorry, the keynote panel members, um, Najat, Yasmin, Cornelius, Roberta, and Allison. And what was really interesting to me, first of all, I think they all highlighted the scale, the unprecedented scale and, and depth of, um, of issues that this, this crisis is causing for children. And I keep calling it crisis, if you had noticed from, from this morning, because I think if, if you only have, emphasize on the pandemic side, you're then ignoring possibly all of the other things that we have been discussing since, since morning. Um, but one thing that came out very strongly across all of the five speakers that we had uh, to me was this idea that this is um, a crisis that is impacting the world and, and particularly children from all different aspects, not just from health, and the response has to be a multi-sectoral response. And I think that really came out strongly from, from, from all, of, all of the presenters. Um, and then of course, we ran through multiple sessions and I'll hand over to Audrey to help us uh, get a sense of some of those sessions because we couldn't be everywhere at the same time, of course. No, indeed we couldn't, unfortunately, but um, I was quite happy to see in some chats um, that people were um, engaging uh, in the different session. I was quite happy to see that um, we had some connection with the morning keynote panel and opening remarks, uh, thoughts and reflection, and some of the discussion that we had at the same time um, in the afternoon. And I'm thinking about the emphasis that was done around working with local communities and the two presentation and sessions that we had around localization. Um, we've been as well talking a little bit about um, the staff, the aid workers that have, who have been working so hard the past few months to ensure children were protected and we had a session on well-being. Um, 
we have mentioned participation and um, during the under COVID, uh, during the uh, COVID under 19, uh, we had a focus on children participation and the opportunity to hear their voice. And we had as well the opportunity to work with um, some other powerful um, thematics such as justice for children, um, advocacy, and as well as for the one who could attend the Spanish session, uh, the opportunity to um, see good example from Latin America. Um, we do hope that uh, you have managed to engage with your new colleagues in the different session, as well as the presenters. And just to remind you as well, that is just day one. We're going to have plenty other sessions uh, tomorrow, and we are hoping you can continue those discussion uh, throughout the week um, on the different uh, media that are at your uh, disposal, such as the Kiko chat where you can meet, or the Guild uh, where you can as well come as a group and continue your discussion. And I uh, will now hand over back to Hani to potentially present to us a little bit of what's going to happen tomorrow. Hani? Yes, thank you. Um, so actually, right after this, we are going to have uh, opportunity for a social event. So anyone who wants to catch up with, with colleagues, meet new colleagues uh, that they, may, they might not have met before, um, discuss things that were discussed during the session, but there was not enough time to continue, please stay on. Um, bring your dinner, your drinks, tea, coffee, whatever you drink, uh, bring it with you and join your colleagues to, um, to socialize. Um, and I want to mention that tomorrow and the day after, at the same time, we will have an opportunity for, for donors and practitioners to be able to, to socialize and interact with each other. It's completely voluntary. Um, both on this part of the donors and on the part of practitioners. Uh, so whoever would like to come uh, will join. Um, I'll mention one thing about tomorrow, uh, while we have a range of really interesting um, presentations awaiting you all through the day, we will begin our soft opening by um, the Child Protection Minimum Standard Task uh, Working Group um, presentation. They have created a really interesting um, session for you. So please join 30 minutes before the, the actual session starts. So at um, 13 hour, 1, 1 p.m. CET, uh, which is I think seven o'clock in, in uh, Eastern Standard Time um, and noon in, in the UK. Um, we will have, we now are going to post a, surve a survey for you. Please, please uh, take five minutes to quickly run through the survey because what you give us now will not only help us for next year, but will also help us for tomorrow and the days after in terms of the, the feedback that you give us. So if, if producers can please post the, yes. So you will see that Jessica just posted the survey monkey link. It should take you five five minutes or so, um, um, so please go through it. With that, we will invite you to, once you're done with the Survey Monkey, go back to Kiko Chat, select one of the social events you want to join. There are multiple options there, um, and we will see you there. Adria and I will be there, and would would love to see you and talk to you and and catch up. Thank you, everyone. We'll Thank see you, you later or tomorrow and the rest of the week. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day or good evening, and we hope to see you soon.